Atheism is, in one sense, too easy, and in another sense, I think, not at all as easy as it looks. It's too easy in the sense that I think most atheists, and I, I'm not judging here which case is right, just making a comment, most atheists and agnostics um, reject a version of the Christian gospel that no self-respecting theologian would ever sign up for. Yes. And therefore they knock over a straw man, they set up a straw man and knock it over. Um, it, but it's also not as easy as it looks. Um, I mean, it may be simple enough at an individual level, but for whole societies, for whole civilizations to achieve this condition is remarkably hard. In fact, modernity is littered with the rubble of failed surrogates for the almighty. You could write the story of modernity if you want, in, in those terms. Attempts to substitute for God that failed. Um, all the way from reason, geist, art, science, culture, humanity, to nature, the people, the nation, the state, and the late David Bowie. <laughs> writing late there I script the other day. I don't of course want to suggest for a moment that these phenomena are nothing but substitutes for the deity, stand-ins, surrogates, <coughs> delegates, but all of them have fulfilled that function in their time. Religion has played such a vital part in legitimating political regimes that our rulers could hardly look upon the disappearance of God with any degree of equanimity, which is one of several reasons why there have been various largely doomed attempts to fill his shoes. I say largely doomed because religion is an exceedingly hard act to follow, whether you believe in it or not. Um, it has in fact proved to be the single most tenacious, enduring, widespread, deep-seated symbolic system that humanity has ever known, not least because it's able to connect the everyday customs and practices and habits of billions upon billions of people, ordinary people, with the most august, transcendent, imperishable truths. It's able to make a direct <coughs> connection between those two dimensions, as it were, as no other symbolic system that I'm aware of. It's the most successful form of popular culture in history. Now, I wager you, you won't find it on a single cultural studies course. Yeah. Culture can mean, <coughs> in the minority sense, in the aesthetic sense, the beliefs and values of a cultivated minority, or it can, believe, it can mean, in the more anthropological sense, uh, the way of life of a whole people. Much discussion of culture, of course, pivots around these two meanings and their conflicts. Culture in the sense of a whole way of life can nowadays be defined as what you're prepared to kill for. Culture is what people are prepared to kill for or to die for. I mean, nobody is prepared to kill for Balzac or Beethoven except perhaps a few weird people hiding out in caves somewhere, <laughs> too ashamed to come out and face the rest of us. But culture in the broader anthropological, everyday sense, culture as language, symbol, history, ethnicity, belief, kinship, um, is widely held in our world to be worth giving up your life. <coughs> and only really, one of the great reasons for the success of religion as a symbolic system is only religion, I think, has been able to merge those two meanings of culture, to hook them up, yes, if you like, the aesthetic and the anthropological, into a united whole. Um, uh, uniting priest and laity, intellectual and populace, idea and institution, metaphysical speculation and popular piety, ritual and social reality in ways which can only turn any other symbolic system green with envy. Today, of course, the most successful uh, surrogate for religion is sport. It's sport, not religion, which is the opium of the people. Yes. What on earth 
what advanced capitalism do without that massive sublimation and distraction of symbolic energies, you know, many of them deeply created, which is what is sport, which lays on for these societies the weekly liturgies, supplies the canon of legendary heroes, saints as it were, and provides the sense of solidarity, crucially, which one might otherwise have <coughs> in a chapel or in a cathedral. 